I'm Adele, Samantha's mum. Um, Samantha's 21 years old. She lives at home with me and my other three children. Samantha's been with um, the charity since for the last 19 years. Samantha is a deaf-blind adult um, as a result of congenital rubella syndrome. Um, so therefore has a hearing impairment and a vision uh, impairment along with lots of additional uh, learning needs. She can see about three foot in front of her. Um, hearing she can hear, but we're not sure quite how much she can hear. As a, as a young child, she uh, had limited communication options um, and because of that we saw some quite challenging behaviour at times. And now as a, as a young person, she's developed communication skills using hand-on-hand -hand signing. So she's able to communicate with us, she understands more about the world that she's living in and therefore reduces a lot of her anxieties. Sense of made a huge difference in my life. Um, Samantha comes six days. Um, a week, which gives me a lot, you know, a lot of support and help. On a typical day, Samantha will come into the Sense Day service, where she'll be greeted by her Sense support worker. She'll then attend the garden room, where she'll access an art activity. Arts and crafts are used to help Sam develop her sense of touch, to have confidence in exploration. She could then typically move on to. Uh, receiving a massage from the masseur. Hi, Sam. Massage will be used to support Sam to use her um, sense of touch to explore, to receive uh, touch from another person. So breaking down those barriers of not wanting to touch what you can't see. Using massage to accept touch tolerance is not just about relaxation. It can take a client down many other avenues like communication, because obviously if you want to communicate with somebody using sign language who is deaf blind, it has to be very much hands-on. So you have to get around that tactile defensiveness. Also, the acceptance of touch for visiting medical practitioners when you may be tactile selective and not want somebody to touch you, it can build up that tolerance. It's a nice gentle hand massage. It's nice orange oil today. Yeah. Samantha also enjoys using the sensory room, which is a dark room, which is full of lights and vibrating um, equipment, so that, again, we're encouraging Samantha to use her sight uh, to explore the environment. We're here to enable her to make choices, to develop a communication so that other people outside of the organisation can understand that she is able to make choices and ha has a voice and should be listened to. She likes to be loved and hugged and, you know, and she likes to be like, like close contact. And when I see a smile in her face, that makes me happy. Samantha is um, a young, energetic person who has a real zest, actually. She's a very strong character, you know, she knows what she likes. Um, she challenges me just as I hopefully challenge her. But, um, yeah, we have quite good fun, you know, and I think a lot of people that support Samantha have fun in their day. You can go home having had a good day at work. I hope she continues to come to Sense, and if for one reason or another I couldn't look after her, I hope she could stay at um, residential to move on to life, to live with Sense. We're able to offer her much more options for her life choices, whether that be, you know, the clothes that she wears, the food that she eats, or, you know, in the future maybe the the home that she lives in. That's really where I think Samantha's life will, or we would like her to, to be going, is that, you know, she will be, live a, a, a fulfilled adult life.